Welcome again to The Old Principal. I am The Old Principal and we have come to another English instructional program. Actually, it's basically stories. Uh, it just happens that today's story is from my life. The title of today's uh, story is Klickitat Lake. Number 233, number 233. So with that, let's listen to the story and I'll be right back. Story 233, Klickitat Lake. Many of the place names in America's Northwest come from the Indians since they were the original inhabitants of the area. Up in the mountains of Oregon, there were many beautiful medium-sized lakes. The fish were plentiful and the camping was fun. Klickitat Lake was one of the few lakes located in the coastal range. I will never forget the car ride to the lake. As we drove higher in the mountains, we progressively traveled on smaller and narrower roads. Eventually, we were on a one-lane gravel road. I wouldn't have minded the one-lane factor, except that this little road was hanging perilously on the side of a mountain. There was a cliff rising on one side of the road, and on the other side, the mountain dropped away for hundreds of feet. Ooh! I figured that if Father made the slightest mistake, the car would plunge down the mountainside. I was afraid to look over the edge. Also, there was no way to see if a car was coming around the corners ahead of us. Fortunately, we encountered no traffic. The lake itself was small. Few people knew about its existence. The trout were fairly plentiful, but this was the only place I knew of that also had millions of orange salamanders. If fishermen were not careful, they would catch a salamander instead of a fish. I don't remember how many fish we caught, but I caught scads of salamanders. <laughs> my Uncle Keith went with us on that trip. He was an avid fisherman like my father. In the early mornings out there on the lake, there was a low ground fog that hovered just above the surface of the water. Sitting still in the boat was torture. Huh. Not only because we couldn't move around and we had to be quiet, but also my brother and I were so cold that our teeth chattered. Welcome back. Are we ready to begin? We are. Many of the place names in America's Northwest come from the Indians since they were the original inhabitants of the area. Now we got a number of words here that probably need a little bit of explanation. Many of the place names, 很多地方的名字, uh, okay? The place names come from Amer in America's Northwest, and I am from the North. Okay, and they come from the Indians. You know what Indians are? Indians are Indian men. Okay, the Indians. Okay, uh, since they were the original inhabitants of the Northwest. So they lived there before uh, the Americans came. Okay, so we say the original inhabitants. Sometimes we might even say indigenous. That means the original, the people that were part of that area before others came. Okay, let's go on to the next. Up in the mountains of Oregon were many beautiful medium-sized lakes. 
Okay, in the mountains, we have these of Oregon, and that's my home. Oregon So is my wife, for that matter. Uh, there were many beautiful medium-sized lakes. They're Meili. Okay, and they're Zhongdeng, Da Xiao De Hu. Okay, medium size, Zhongdeng, Da Xiao De. So they're not big lakes, and they're not small lakes. Going on. The fish were plentiful, and the camping was fun. So there were lots of fish there uh, in these lakes. We went to many different lakes. Uh, they were plentiful. Hando, uh, Hun Fu. Okay, Feng Fu, plentiful. And the camping was fun. Lu Ying is especially for a little boy like myself, you know, we just enjoyed camping. Any time you could sleep in a tent, and you could cook on a fire, uh, these were making our camping trips lots of fun. Okay, let's go on. Klickitat Lake was one of the few lakes located in the coastal range. Now, remember what I said in the, at the very beginning, Klickitat is the name of an Indian tribe, the Klickitat Indians, okay? Uh, the Klickitat Lake was one of the few lakes located in the coastal range, okay? So what do you know about this? First of all, in Oregon, we have a coastal range. Yen Hai Shan Mai. Okay, coastal range. So it, it, it is a range, Shan Mai is a range, and uh, this coastal range uh, goes up and down the coast. So, to go from my house to go over there, you have to go up and over these mountains. They're not tall mountains, but they still are. It's the coastal range. Okay, and this was one of the few lakes. That means there were not very many lakes. But I will never forget the car ride to the lake. Going in the car to the lake was really something going on. As we drove higher into the mountains, we progressively traveled smaller and narrower roads. Eventually, we were on a one-lane gravel road. Okay, so there are a few words here. Okay, we progressively uh, traveled. Progressive means that something happens more and more and more. What? We traveled, that means we were driving on smaller and narrower roads. They were smaller and they were narrow. Yue lai, yue xiao, he zai. So they're small and narrow. Eventually, we were on a one lane gravel road. <clears throat> now, that's a problem because if you were on uh, going up in the mountains and it's just one lane, Dan Xing Dao, okay, one lane road. If you're going on this, 
What about cars that were coming toward you? 要过来的车怎么办 Going on. I wouldn't have minded the one lane factor, except that this little road was hanging perilously on the side of a mountain. <sighs> well, maybe I should put this down for a minute because I just need both of my hands. First of all, I wouldn't have minded the one lane factor. Ah,、uh, 这个单行道的这种情况。I wouldn't have minded. To mind something means to pay attention to, or to worry about. 担心 okay, 挂虑 So I wouldn't have minded the one-lane factor. Okay, except now. Usually, except has the meaning of 除了 Dung 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 e y okay. In this case, I think you can easily just translate it. But, but, 但是 this little road was hanging perilous, perilously on the side of a mountain. Now, this is very good English, but it could be very confusing. 很会迷惑人呐 Okay. The little road, first of all, was on the side of a mountain. <clears throat> so you've got the so you've got the picture. It's on the side of the mountain, and the little road is hanging perilously. Now let me ask you a question: Have you ever seen a road hang? E. 随便一条路，有没有在啊、uh, 半空啊挂着 ？Of course not. But this is good English, and it says perilously, 很危险的 ，hanging 挂在山坡边呢、啊。Okay, do you see? Do you see what this is? It's a very dangerous. Situation going on. There was a cliff rising on one side of the road. 有这悬崖就上，在一边就上去。And on the other side of the mount, the mountain dropped away for hundreds of feet. On the other side of the mountain, you look. Oh, oh, it. Dropped away. Oh, and it went down for a G by inch. Whoa! So this little road, and your the cliff on one side, and actually a cliff on the other side, and it's hanging perils perilously there. Okay. Ah.、Uh, Okay, I think we can go on to the next one here. I figured that if Father made the slightest mistake, the car would plunge down the mountainside. I was afraid to look over the edge. I still remember as clear today as it was sixty plus years ago. If Dad made a mistake, any mistake, then the car would. Plunge over the edge. To plunge over the edge means 会下下去 To plunge is almost plunge means almost like to dive. It means to fall、yeah. down the mountain. And as a little boy, I was of course. Afraid to look over the edge, because take a lubiana. I didn't want to look over the edge. Whoa, that would not have been cool. Okay, going on. Also, there was no way to see if a car was coming around the corners ahead of us. Fortunately, 
we encountered no traffic. Generally, I remember at least once or twice there was, but it seemed that when the cars were coming, uh, that uh, it wasn't so bad. But you see the picture here. There was no way for us to know what cars were coming, okay? We couldn't see around the corners. Right? So when the cars were coming, you couldn't tell until the last minute. And then, sometimes it's too late. Fortunately, okay? we encountered no traffic. Traffic simply means cars traveling on that road. To encounter the Yudao. Going on. The lake itself was small. Few people knew it about <laughs> its existence. <clears throat> it's true. The lake was a very small lake. Uh, and obviously the road was a very small road. And most people wouldn't even know anything about it. In fact, few people, Hun Shao Yorin, Zhidao. This lake's existence. Tada Zai. Existence. Existence. Zai. Good word to keep in mind. Distance. Existence. Okay? Going on. The trout. Okay, what is a trout? A trout is a kind of fish. Okay, it's a kind of fish. The trout were fairly plentiful. Xiang Dang Feng Fu. Remember? We came across this word plentiful already in this lesson. Feng Fu. And it was the only place I knew of that also had millions of orange salamanders. I never, ever saw this anywhere else. Do you know what a salamander is? I don't know how to say it. Uh, somebody told me a salamander is rongyuan. Okay, it's a chengse de rongyuan. It's a little animal like bihu. I do know what a bihu. A bihu is, is a kind of a lizard thing. A salamander is like a bihu or a lizard, except salamanders live in the water. Okay, so they live in the waters. And this lake had trout, which were good, and it had Millions of orange salamanders. Rongyuan, if that's the right thing. It's just these little water-loving. They swim in the water. They like to swim in the water. Okay, go ahead. If fishermen, you know what a fisherman is, were not careful, then they would catch salamander instead of a fish. Of course, that would be ma fan. We went there to catch fish, yao diao dao yu. And you don't want to catch salamanders. Okay? So, going on. I don't remember how many fish we caught, but I caught scads of <laughs> salamanders. Okay. I don't remember how many fish we caught, uh, but, I, uh, but I caught, what diao dao, okay, scads. <sighs> scads is, it's a, an American way of saying a lot, hen duo. It's not what you call um, high class English, bijiao suan shi su yu, but it's very common, scads. If I caught scads of salamanders, then I caught many salamanders. 
going on. My uncle Keith went with us on that trip. He was an avid fisherman. Okay, now if he's an avid fisherman, what is it? He likes to fish. Okay, avid. That's a good word. Avid means that he's obsessed. He enjoys fishing. He does fishing all the time. Uh, my dad often fished with my uncle. Well, my uncle lived across the street from us. He worked for my dad. Anyway, well, Papa's a law bond. And so my uncle worked for my dad. So uh, he knew them. Uh, and they enjoyed fishing together. He was an avid fisherman like my father, maybe even more than my father, because my father, so he, he was very busy, so my uncle, uh, he, he probably had a little bit more time uh, to go fishing going on. In the early mornings, out on the lake, there was a low ground fog that hovered just above the surface of the water. Whoa, this is a nice sentence. Let's see if we can figure this one out. In the early mornings, what is this? Is This is 清早的时候, 刚刚天亮的时候, or just barely. Out on the lake, okay, so this is on the lake. This is not. Uh, this is this is uh, not along the seashore. Uh, actually, there was some too there. Uh, there was a low ground fog. Okay. First of all, you know what fog is. Wu or wu qi. Okay. A ground fog is yi cheng zhe ge wu qi that is, seems to be quite low. Above it, there's nothing. But this is a ground fog, and it usually happens on lakes and bodies of water. So it says here, in the early mornings out on the lake, there was a low ground fog that hovered just above the surface of the water. It's a Okay, take a song surface. Okay, Hu Mian Song, Piao Liu Zhe. So it's just hovering. Hovering, a good word. Hovering, Piao Liu. Uh, so Piao, okay. Uh, maybe not Liu, just a Piao Qi Lai. It just, sometimes it's just static. Okay, go ahead. Sitting still in the boat was torture. Sitting still, jing jing de, zuo zai zhe ge chuan shang, shi yi zhong zhe mo. It was very hard on little boys. Why was it hard on little boys? Because little boys don't like to sit still. They want to always be active. And when you're in a boat, and when you are fishing, you cannot move. You cannot talk. You have to just be very quiet. So sitting still in the boat was torture to us going on. Not only because we couldn't move around, and we had to be quiet, and that was hard to be. We wanted to talk, 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 talk. But in the end, we didn't. Because dad said, keep quiet, otherwise we won't catch fish. 
but also my brother and I were so cold that our teeth chattered. Now, I don't know whether in Chinese uh, you can say this, but uh, my brother and I were so cold every morning, even though it, the weather was nice during the day, but in the morning, we were so cold. My brother and I were so cold, always cold. So we're just sitting there, fado, to the extent that our teeth chattered. Now, do you know what it means when your teeth are chattering? The best way I can explain it is that your can you hear that? That's my teeth banging together. Okay. Sometimes when you're so cold that your that uh, that your teeth need a yacher to da Okay. So that so this is what you call chat. This happens when you chatter. Your teeth are chattering. This happens when when you are very very cold, and it's a sign of being cold. So there you have it, fishing at Klickitat Lake. Then the, the Indians knew about the lake. It was, an, it, in fact, it has an Indian name, and we went to Klickitat Lake and fished for trout, not salamanders, although I caught a scat of those too. Okay, here is our email address, theoldprincipal at gmail.com, and our website is www.theoldprincipal.org. Hey, I've enjoyed having you uh, with us on this session, and I hope that you'll bring a friend and join me next time. Until then, bye-bye.